Welcome to this brief but detailed file review training video for the College of Veterinary Medicine at The Ohio State University. Hello, my name is Jay Denson and I serve as the Director of Admissions, Recruitment, and Diversity here at the college. Thank you for your participation in this cycle. We will be file reviewing over 1,800 applicants for this admission cycle. Two reviewers will score each application and at least one of those reviewers must be a veterinarian. We ask that you provide detailed comments in every section that you score. Please indicate what characteristics the applicant had or did not have that led to your score. This is essential for any post-application reviews that we do. In order to make this process as simple as possible, we, we suggest that you create an Excel spreadsheet to keep track of your records as you go. File review requirements. Please carefully review the WebAdmit training tutorial. After you've completed that step, please view the Inclusive Excellence podcast located at the website listed on your screen. You'll receive more details regarding this matter in the future. We ask that you also complete at least one implicit associate test found at the link below. And then once complete, you'd be required to sign and submit the DocuSign acknowledgement form. Again, this is after you've completed all of these steps and you will receive this DocuSign acknowledgement electronically. For those returning file reviewers, please pay close attention as there have been minor changes from last year's cycle. We ask that each of you complete an implicit associate test. It's important to note that if you do not want to register, you can continue on this site as a guest. Once you log into the site, you'll see a variety of exams that you can complete. Select any exam from those that are offered. And now I'd like to introduce you to WebAdmit. WebAdmit is the admissions management software used to access application information. You will be required to use a login and password to access the system. Again, this will be provided for you. Just as a simple note, Please be mindful that if you have not received this login information by now, contact our office after first checking your spam box. It may have been easily overlooked in your inbox. Once you've logged in, it's my suggestion that you become familiar with the website. Making sure that first you check the application cycle is correct. You'll find this in the upper right hand corner of the screen. For all other features you'll be required to provide, be sure to click on Review Assignments. Here is where you'll see your list of applicants that you are required to review. While navigating WebAdmit, it's important to note the following sections that you'll be utilizing. The Assignments tab, which is where you'll submit results on each score. Evaluations, which is where you'll find three recommendations for each applicant. The VimCast Custom Questions, Experiences, and Achievements. It's important to note that individual tabs are used to score each applicant, and you can find those tabs under the Experience tab. There you'll find sections on Volunteer and Community Enrichment, Employment, Research, Extracurricular Activities, Animal Experiences, and Veterinary Experiences. Here is important information on how to score a file. Once you've completed reading and reviewing a student's file, then you'll be ready to score. By doing so, you'll need to click on the Assignments tab. 
located in the middle of the screen. And then you'll click Submit Results. For individual scoring categories, you'll find them located in the middle of the screen as well. Again, in order to submit, you'll need to click on Submit Results. Once you've completed the scores and entered them into the system accurately, please click Complete Assignment. For those who may not complete the scoring at one specific time, you can click on Save Without Completing, which will allow you to go back into the applicant's file to score at a later date. I will again point out that you will not receive a confirmation for the scores that you submit. Therefore, if you're interested in keeping a running tab of those scores you've provided, please do so. Once you've completed entering the scores for that candidate, you'll then see in the top right hand corner your next applicant file to review. In order to access that application, click on Next in the upper right hand corner of the screen and then you'll see the next applicant's information. Please be mindful of the criteria for scoring each applicant. I will point out that you will not need to evaluate a student's academics as that has already been complete. Please be mindful of these common terms that may be associated with each candidate. Change agent, team player, self-motivated, all criteria that we are looking for in our candidates. Now I'd like to take a few moments and review your file categories. One would be veterinary and animal experience. We'll talk more on this in just a minute, but it's important to note that that's broken into two categories, diversity of experience and depth of experience. Secondly, community and volunteer service, work and leadership experience. Third, potential for success and future contributions in the profession. And lastly, ability to contribute to diversity in the profession. As mentioned previously, applicants are scored on diversity and depth of experience, which is broken into two categories. The first, hands-on experience working with a veterinarian and or a PhD mentor. These experiences can be compensated or volunteer. Secondly, working in a non-veterinary practice setting. An example of this could be a boarding facility, farm, research laboratory, or an animal shelter. It's important to note that applicants may have exceptional diversity with minimum depth and vice versa. That's why we score these sections differently. Diversity of experience. The diversity of experience can be scored by the following numeric values. Each numeric value has a category that corresponds to each. Please be sure to rate the candidate based upon the best category and description you feel fits the student's experiences. In order to detail in to find more about the diversity of experiences, please click Details to access the total number of veterinary and animal experience hours. You'll see this indicated on the slide presentation. Depth of experience. Again, to view the total hours, click Duties to 
to review all competencies for each candidate. Here is where you find a detailed description on the depth of duties. Again, you can access this by clicking on duties and you can read as follows. Community, volunteer service, work, and leadership experience. We are looking for significant involvement that demonstrates a willingness to contribute to the welfare of others and demonstration of leadership abilities. It's important to note that through all of these experiences, you should only evaluate those completed after high school. Such experiences can be categorized as community, volunteer, and service preferably outside of veterinary medicine, service industry employment, military experience, college leadership, and others as applicable. The community volunteer service work and leadership experience can as well be categorized into four areas. There are also four numeric scores that directly correlate to those categories. Again, when reviewing each file, make sure that you select the description that best fits each candidate's experience levels. Potential for success and future contributions. This includes all non-academic portions of the application. Examples of this would be the personal essay, reference letter and all previously scored categories. Applicants demonstrate a strong understanding of the profession, demonstrated experiences reflecting a strong interest and motivation in the profession, demonstrated leadership, work ethic, and compassion for animals and others, and lastly, demonstrated reflection about the veterinary profession and career goals. Each applicant was required to submit three letters of recommendation. These supplements the application's academic and professional history. These letters should also provide information on the applicant's qualifications, both academic and professional, interpersonal skills and professional qualities, ethics and integrity, commitment to pursuing a career in veterinary medicine. Potential for success and future contributions. This can be found in the student's personal essays. It's important to note that strong personal essays stand out. They also answer questions highlighted by the VEMCAS instructions and provide concrete, detailed, and specific information on the applicant's long-term goals. Listed below are a few of the VEMCAS essay questions that are answered on each applicant's file. It's important to note that again there are four categories that should summarize each applicant's supplemental materials. You'll assess a numeric score that best fits the description that you feel matches the student's supplemental application materials such as the recommendation letters and personal essay. These characteristics indicating potential success and future contributions and professional scoring are all listed on the guide listed below. As part of the college's core values, the importance of embracing diversity among students, faculty, and staff is strongly emphasized. To best serve the needs of our community, our profession must embrace the broadest definition and fullest spectrum of diversity, including race, ethnicity, physical and mental abilities, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or expression, parental, marital, or pregnancy status, religion or political beliefs, military or veteran status, and geographic, socioeconomic, and educational backgrounds, and challenges that have been overcome. At Ohio State, we understand that diversity promotes a culture of inclusion 
that understands and appreciates the world beyond our own individual perspective. For the College of Veterinary Medicine, diversity is a fundamental component of excellence and, as such, is not optional, but rather both necessary and as well desired. It's important to note that the file review completion deadline for this cycle will be on November 29th. If you have any problems completing any files by this deadline, please contact our office as soon as possible so that we may redistribute those files you are unable to review. If you have completed your assigned files by this date and would like additional files to review, Again, please contact our office and we'd be more than happy to provide you with extra. It's important to note the interview dates for this cycle. Again, thank you for those who have signed up to participate in our interviews. You'll receive more information on these dates in the coming future. A few helpful hints to keep in mind is that we'd ask that you please familiarize yourself with the Web Admit system in advance. Please also keep scores of those files that you've reviewed for your records. Always remember that comments, comments, and more comments are definitely appreciated by our office. Please write any comments in the specified sections in each scoring category. Please complete the reviews as soon as possible and do not discuss or share these documents with colleagues or students as this is considered confidential material. Again, if there's any questions that you have, please feel free to contact our office for assistance throughout the file review process. Again, on behalf of the Office of Admissions, I'd like to thank you for your willingness to serve the college and profession by helping to select our future students, alumni, colleagues, and leaders.